hope y'all are having fun. Because y'all voted for this. I did vote for them, Jimmy. I'm sorry. I feel like I betrayed Jimmy. And to be honest, I don't even remember seeing these troops before. So maybe I was gone last time the stunner came out. I like don't remember seeing them or playing with them at all. But today, we're going to be trying out the stunner for what I believe is the first time. Maybe it, Maybe it's not. I'm going to try to bring the stunner with, you know what, I think we'll bring heavies, uh, zookas, or no, heavies, two heavies, two stunners, four bombardiers, and I think that might be the meta. Essentially, the stunner is a grenadier, but instead of a bomb, he's throwing a shock bomb, which doesn't last for that long. However, I still think they look cool. I still think they look cool. Um, the other option was a shockoneer, which is a cryoneer with a... A shock beam instead of a freeze beam so or instead of a slowing down beam it's still a freeze beam but it slows down it doesn't freeze so you know what I'm gonna try this out I don't know how this is gonna go it's gonna be a very interesting video because honestly I just don't remember getting these before but I think a lot of people do remember how bad they truly are and I watched a little bit of Jimmy's video and honestly they look pretty bad so I'm not going to coddle them too much. I'm not going to be afraid to point out their flaws. But you know what? Honestly, doing well so far. The shocks they toss are lasting for a lot longer than I thought. Um, still needing to drop shocks, but for the most part, I think I'm sitting pretty, pretty well. And I'm really only shocking the hot pots. I'm not shocking any of the other things. So visually, they look just like the Grenadier, but we all know that... They're not the Grenadier. I think what makes them bad is the fact that their bombs are random. I feel like if they were a Bombardier shocking troop, the shock, can you know? The bomb shock troop? I don't even know what you would be able to call that, but I feel like they'd be better if that was the case. But you definitely need a troop that can deal damage, and you probably should also bring a troop that can somewhat tank. For the shockoneer because you don't want the shockoneer to absorb all of the damage the point of the shockoneer is to to give your troops backup i mean it's not really a tanking troop but it is a support troop it's like a medic where the medic you don't want the medic to tank damage but you also don't want the medic to be on the front lines so we're going to readjust just a little bit we're going to go three boats of heavies two boats of shockoneers and three boats of bombardiers, and I think that might be at the golden ratio. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so no hot pots, that's good. I'm gonna clump them together just because I wanna make sure all of my troops are behind shockoneers, because the shockoneers, guys, they literally toss shock bombs. Those are really, really good against these defenses. Like, they're shocking the boon cannons for me, however, because the shots are random, they don't always hit where I want them to. So, uh, I don't I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. They don't seem as bad as people making them out to be. But maybe the Shockineers were just way better than these guys. I don't remember. I don't remember, honestly. Bombardiers with the Shock Grenadiers are definitely the route to go. Stunners. Stunners. They're called Stunners. Not Shock Bombardiers. Or grenadiers. Okay, so the stunners are doing well, very, very well, and I am liking them. The shocks are lasting for a lot longer than I thought they did, and honestly, I mean, this is going probably about the same if I would have just brought four bits of heavies, four bits of bombardiers. So I don't think they deserve the hate, Jimmy. Jimmy was hating on them hard last video. He's the bad cop, I'm the good cop, coming in afterward. We also have the Tiny Shock. I just noticed that. We could have used that against the Hot Pots last battle. But you know what? Whatever. Whatever. We're sitting very well. There's no way we're going to we're gonna lose this. So let me know down below which you prefer. The Shockoneer or the Stunner. So far I'm liking the Stunner. Although I haven't played with the Shockoneer for a really, really long time. But I'm liking, I'm liking what I'm seeing today with the Stunner. Level 60 drops. By the way, guys... Today I'm recording this as actually the first video that we posted eight years ago. Um, 
the video I posted last time was the first video or, or when we made our channel. So now we actually have our first video anniversary. However, I think the channel is more important just because it's so close together. I mean, I guess if you make your channel in 2015 and then you post your first video in 2018, it's the first video is more important. But because ours is so close together, only a two day difference, I think the channel is more important. The start of something great. Guys, I love you. I, I, I truly do. Like, honestly, you guys have helped me through college. You helped me through high school, helped me through high school, helped me through college. Like, to be honest, I didn't have to get a job because of you guys in college. Like, obviously, this is not enough to support me full time now that I'm out of college. But in college, like, it really helped me get through and be able to help pay for college. So I appreciate you guys for that. I really, really, really do. And also, it's just fun making content. I know at times it gets repetitive with the Boom Beach content but we're hoping to bring out new games soon. Yeah, so we have Boom Beach Frontlines is a new game. We're hoping for more Clash-centered games. I think there's like Clash Heroes or something. Uh, of course, there's Clash Quests. There's just a bunch of bunch of games out there that Jimmy and I wanna try playing. Also, I kinda wanna stream a little something on our second channel. Um, I've been really into uh, an old, some old games like Minecraft, and I don't know if I'll ever post any Minecraft. If that is something you guys would want to see, let me know down below. I don't know what I would do. Probably some like Bed Wars or something on on Hey Pixel, but yeah, that'd be fun if I get Jimmy to do it with me. But I don't know if Jimmy is into Minecraft anymore. All right, I mean this is going really, really well. I'm honestly loving the stunners. Perfect addition into this combination. I guess the only question I would have for the stunners is, are you performing better than if I would just bring heavies and bombardiers? And that's kind of always the question when we get a new troop. Because when you pair a troop with a combination that is literally the best combination in the game, one of the best combinations in the game, you're gonna dominate because two boats might not change much. But the question is, is do those two boats make it better or worse than it would have been if it was the original combination? And that's just, I don't have the answer to that. There's not really a nice, easy way to tell. I mean, I'm liking where this is going. I'm not having any issues. I feel like I'm on my maxed out account playing players with bombardiers heavies. So I think it honestly is helping if I had to give my two cents. But I guess there's one way we can tell, and that is look at the top players and see if the top players have Bombardiers and Grenadiers, which uh, they're definitely using stunners because no top player is using grenad normal Grenadiers, but that's the way we can tell. So let's go look at some top level players on the leaderboard and see if any of them are pairing up the stunner, and that would be the ultimate way to disprove Jimmy. So number one player, doesn't look like it. It's kind of discouraging. <laughs> number two player, doesn't look like it. Number three player, okay. Unknown, unknown, it could be either. Four player, honestly, there's no way these are normal Grenadiers. These are definitely the stunners. So one player on the leaderboard has it so far. A Scorcher player. These players might just be loading up Scorchers just to... Uh, just because it costs the most amount of gold. So honestly, it's it's hard to know for certain. If I had to give my two cents, I would say it's probably not better to bring the sh uh, stunners with the heavy bombardier or rifleman bombardier combination. That's just what I see on a leaderboard. However, there are a few players that it looks like are doing that on the leaderboard, so it's not obvious which choice is clearly better i mean it looks like not bringing the shotgun ears is the way to go and probably what i would recommend however it's very close if still there are people on the leaderboard using shotgun ears that definitely says something to the troop so i mean that's a win for boom beach honestly if boom beach brings out a new troop and players on the leaderboard are using that new troop it's obviously a good troop good enough to bring into battles 
top level players have to be really, really picky which troops they bring into battle because unlike us, normal players, they don't get unlimited attacks per base. They get five attacks per base. If they can't destroy it, they have to wait a day for a new base to come up on their map. It's really, really bad if that happens for these top level players. So I don't know, I like them. Screw Jimmy says, I'm loving the shock and ears, not the shock and ears, the stunners. They look cool on this screen, not those guys. They look cool on this screen. They look so much more better than the normal Grenadiers. I'm loving what they're doing in battle. Obviously, their damage, really, really low. However, it's not all about the damage. It's about the shock, and the shock is definitely a game changer. So we have these guys for three more days. Expect one more video about the shock and the, about the stunners from me. Uh, let me know down below what kind of video you want to see with those. If there's a fun concept you want me to try. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Please drop a like if you did. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye, guys.